You're watching Adorama TV. Hi everybody, welcome to Adorama TV. I'm Mark Wallace. Well today we're going to talk about this new tripod head from Manfrotto. It's the Manfrotto 055 series photo movie head with Q5 quick release. Now this tripod head is made specifically for DSLR photographers that are shooting both still and video with their cameras. And so this is a hybrid head that allows you to shoot both still photos and movies. And so let me talk to you about how it works. Now this has a standard 3 8 inch mount so you can put it on an existing tripod legs or choose and mix and match. So I'm going to put this on a tripod that I had here in the studio and uh, this just screws on there. And what would normally happen after I get this all snug are there's some counter screws that I would normally tighten up to make sure that this doesn't uh, unscrew. But just to save time, we're going to skip that for now. All right. So um, what this does, it has a, a normal quick release plate. Now, this plate is a little bit different than what you'd normally see for a still uh, photo tripod. And you can see that this is a longer plate than we'd normally have on a DSLR camera. Now the reason for that is with a video head, you wanna be able to balance your camera. So you wanna be able to uh, move that forward or back. So you wanna have a little bit of leeway there. The other reason that it's a little bit longer is uh, if you have a system like uh, a Zacuto rig or something that you have a base plate with rails, you wanna have a lot of surface area to really lock that down and make sure that it'll support all the weight and nothing moves around. So let's put this on here. Um, the other thing that's really nice, you hear that little click, this is a little safety button. So this will not come off accidentally unless you push that, this thing is not gonna come off your tripod. So once you put this on there, and I'm gonna keep it back a little ways, um, then you use this little knob right here and that keeps everything nice and secure. And now I'm all mounted up and ready to go. So first, let me talk to you about the different modes. We're gonna start with photo mode. There's this little dial back here that allows you to select either photo or movie mode. So we're gonna keep that on photo mode. Now in photo mode, what we have is a basic three-way head. Now, normally you don't have this arm on a three-way head. You might have a small one and a little one to the side. But the nice thing about this is you have the ability to remove it. So I can take this guy right here, and this is a little knob that just loosens up. And now this comes right off. And there's this little plastic uh, piece on here. And if you're wondering what that's for, well, that's to quickly take that, and you can just stick it on the legs of your tripod, and now that's gone. So if you wanna do some work with your camera, you can just loosen up your head and you've got your basic three way movement. So you've got left and right, you have up and down, and you've got your vertical. So you can go uh, make sure you get vertical uh, portraits. Now this will go to all the way down to 90 degrees this way. And up here, this goes to about 15 degrees. So you've got a lot of leeway to zip that around. On the side here, you've got a couple of uh, locking mechanisms. So for the pan lock, you've got this big dial here that says pan lock, and so that locks in the pan. You also have the friction control for the pan, so you can control how uh, easy or hard it is to move this. And then there's this giant lock right here that will lock your camera, and so that locks everything down. And inside of that lock, uh, is the friction control for this uh, three-way head. So you can control the friction for that, which is really important uh, for still photography, but really important for video to make sure you have really nice, smooth movements. So there's the locking mechanism. Now on the front, there's something else. There's another big uh, knob here that I'm gonna talk about when we get to the video mode. So there you have it. We have this three-way tripod. You've got this nice locking mechanism. You can get everything dialed in. Let's talk about what happens then when you wanna shoot some video with this. And so to do that, the first thing you'll wanna do is to take this and flip it over from photo to movie mode. Now what happens is this is sort of loose until click, that clicks in, and now you only have two movements. You have up and down, and you also have left and right. So you get those two movements that you would normally expect in a video tripod. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this control bar and put it back on, and that takes just a couple seconds. Now notice, you can put this where this is angled down to the side or up, and however you tighten that on there, it's going to stay, which is really nice. So we're gonna put this down like you would normally have it. Now this uh, knob on the front that I talked about, let me uh, tell you exactly what that does. It's a counterbalance system, and it actually says on the front here, CBS so for counterbalance system. So normally on a photo head, uh, if you uh, have a, a long lens like this and you let go, well, your camera is gonna drift like this, 
And that's not what you need in a video head because you might be videotaping something and you might need to just hold that for a while and uh, you need to be able to let go. So what this allows you to do is you can turn that on. So now I have that on, it clicks into place. Now when I put this in a certain location, I let go and it's going to stay there. So it's got a counterbalance built in. So I can do that and let it go. It's going to be really good. So that's a feature I really like because you're, uh, the ability for you to be moving around and following moving activity and then once it stops, like a speaker or something, well, you can let go and you're not constantly having to hold on to that. And it's really going to prevent a lot of fatigue. And then once you have something locked in, well, you can just lock it and you can lock your pan and everything else using these knobs and it's all going to work out really really nicely so you've got movie mode you have photo mode you have a three-way head you have a nice fluid head and that's something i should mention this is a fluid head so that means that your motion is going to be nice and even and soft it's not going to be jerky and so everything is going to really work well and if things aren't uh, if you don't have enough resistance, well, then you can just add a little bit more tension and depending on the weight of your camera, you can adjust that. So everything is going to look just wonderful. Now, one thing I did notice that is just a little caveat here is if you're shooting things like airplanes or something in the sky and you have this mounted on your tripod like this, well, you could have issues because when you're trying to move around, well, that's going to hit the legs. So initially you'd think, well, just flip this around. Well, that's still, you're gonna have issues, but there's a really, really quick solution, and that's just raise the center column of your tripod, and now you can do all of those uh, really high in the air kind of movements if you're shooting something that's really high, like an air show or something like that. So this is really, really flexible, and you'll get a lot of use out of it. So again, this is the Manfrotto 055 series photo movie head with a Q5 quick release plate. It re retails for around $350 and it's one of those uh, heads that I think is worth it for anybody that's doing both uh, still photography and video work. Those of you who maybe are travel photographers or wedding photographers, event photographers, this is a great option for you. Well, thanks so much for joining me this week. Remember, if you have questions about photography gear, you can send those to me at askmark at adorama.com. Thanks, and I'll see you again next week. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.